So, Driven by Moss 11 is out and it gives quite some new features for the Launchpad series. If you start up Bitwig with the Launchpad, you are normally presented here with such a play view. And here I loaded a guitar patch in. <laughs> Yeah, what you like to do with such a patch is normally you also want to modulate it and you want to use pitch band, but this controller doesn't have such features. But now in this version, you can press that greenish button here and then you everything moves up uh, one row. And here you have some additional elements. First one is now sustain. Then you have pitch down, pitch up. And it's also velocity sensitive, so if you push it harder, it bends more than if you push it soft. And you also have a modulation wheel here, which is presented with five pads. So the left one is zero, this is maximum. And you can really nicely slide here also. So use it really like a modulation wheel on these newer launchpad models. Let's try that. So this reads works really nicely. You can use it also in combination. <laughs> so pretty handy feature. And the second thing many people ask about for years is now can we have chords? And I'm not such a big fan of that because you can already play chords here. But whatever people liked it. And so I looked into chords and this is the second new button you can push here. So if you go here, you enter chords mode. And here you see your normal scale you have currently selected. So the buttons for transposition and for cho choosing the, the chord settings are the same here in this mode like in a play mode you can select your different scales and you have different chords on these different rows so each row contains different chord type while the first one are the normal triads the second ones are power chords so since i have selected now this guitar patch let's start with that so where power chord is just the perfect fifth and uh, added another octave And so that one, let's go maybe one, one octave up. So this one are the um, normal triads. That one is a suspended second. You also see that presented here on the scale notes. Then a suspended fourth. An added sixth. And major seven. An added nine, so it's getting really jazzy, and then added eleven. And yeah, as I said in the beginning, I'm not such a fan of that, but it's yeah, I have to admit, uh, it gives you some nice ideas, for example, like this. That's something I would haven't played, definitely not on the keyboard. So quite a bunch of new stuff. Also in that mode, you can activate here the, the play helper. So you can do also here the pitch band modulation and uh, the sustain. So it works here as well. And what you also can do is you can use uh, the note repeat also in this chord mode for that. But we should switch to a different sound because it does not sound that interesting with a pad. And then you can go into chord mode here. And can use that as well in that mode. So quite a bunch of stuff to experiment with and dig it and make some funky music.